Hi everyone, I'm Michelle and I make the videos here at vegan.com. I've been making them about three times a week, so for all of you who have been tuning in, thanks for watching and um, I love hearing your feedback. So if you're liking the videos, if you have video suggestions, anything like that, it's so, so great to hear from you guys. Today I'm doing a video that's a little bit different from anything I've done before and I'm not sure if you guys will be into it, so let me know in the comments <laughs> if this is something that you like or not. Um, basically, I receive a lot of products and books and different things to review that cross my desk from different vegan companies or companies that are launching new vegan products. So I see all these products and if I find stuff that I really love, I share them with you guys on Facebook or Twitter or through a blog post or something like that. But I thought it'd be really neat to actually show you guys kind of in person through video uh, the products that I've gotten lately that I really like. So. Uh, I have a box here, a big box <laughs> of various things from different companies uh, that I wanted to show you guys in case it's something that you would be interested in. Okay, the first thing, which is my all-time favorite this month, are these Love Bean chocolate um, fudge spreads. They are phenomenal. The ingredients are super natural. They're gluten-free, BPA-free, soy-free, USDA organic. There's an original and there's an essentially raw. So if you're trying to be super healthy and eat as close to raw as possible, this is the one for you. Now these are cool, but what gets even cooler are these packets. So you can take little chocolate things with you on the go. Now these can be great to spread on fruit, put on ice cream, on yogurt, eat by the mouthful, whatever you want. I personally like opening these up and eating them straight from the package. They're that good. So love beans, superfood fudge. I'll include a link below where you can get it online uh, onto their website. Okay, next up in a similar spreads category. So I recently did a video about a tahini dressing, a salad dressing that I love. I make it at least once a week. It's so good. I hope you guys try it. But there's this new company that I just learned about called Soom, and they have a tahini, which is cool. Like you can get tahini a lot of places, but neat that they make it. What's really cool about this company is they came out with a chocolate sesame butter. This stuff is so creamy and delicious. It is insane. Um, if you're not a fan of tahini, you definitely won't like this because that flavor definitely comes through. Um, but it's just so decadent and good. Okay, next up, if you guys are fans of gummies, which I was always a huge fan of growing up, and when I learned that they were made with gelatin, which is made from pig skin and bones, I realized I just couldn't have gummies anymore. But luckily there's a lot of companies that are now that are coming out with vegetarian and vegan gummies. And these are two of those brands. This one's called Fruit Bites, and these are uh, very similar to just like gummy bears. They're really natural ingredients, very simple. You can recognize everything listed there. They're gluten-free, and um, yeah, they're great. These are another option, and these are vitamin C gummies. So they are packed with a ton of vitamin C, also very natural ingredients, and vegan. So if you're looking for gummy replacements, these are good and they come in little packets that you can take on the go. Next up is a company called Lydia's Organics. Uh, I live in Oakland and this is kind of a local company, but they sell online and they can ship all over the place. So I thought it'd be a good one to share with you. These are some of their kale chips. They make a whole different line of kale chips. Um, they're great. My favorite kale chip company is Alive and Radiant. If you guys have never tried those, the quite cheesy flavor and the tarragon Dijon are both to die for. Uh, but Lydia's Organics makes them too. They also have these rockin' pizza chips. So all of these are raw products. So if you're trying to do a raw challenge or a raw cleanse or anything like that, this is a good way for you to feel like you still have something a little bit, you know, savory and hearty uh, while still eating raw. Um, here's their sunflower seed bread, and they have some like food bars. I definitely don't turn to these when I'm looking for like a really luxurious and yummy snack. I mean, they taste very healthy, especially the spirulina bar. Tastes pretty gnarly if you're not used to eating spirulina. Uh, so I wouldn't rec recommend it for newbies, but if you have acclimated your taste buds to much, much healthier superfoods, these might be for you. 
You guys are well aware of my love affair with Day of Cheese. I've done a ton of video recipes featuring it, but I wanted to take today to show you another cheese brand company that has a whole line of products um, and a lot of vegan options that might be in of interest to you. Uh, it's Go Veggie brand, and they have cheese shreds in multiple different flavors. Make sure that you look for the vegan sign because they also carry some that are lactose free, but they contain casein, which is the protein found in milk. So not all of their line is vegan. So make sure you're looking for the vegan label. They have one of the coolest arrays of flavors of vegan cream cheese. This is their strawberry cream cheese, which is really sweet. It's amazing on cinnamon raisin bread. This is their classic. And then they have a chive and garlic cream cheese, which is super yummy on savory bagels. Uh, so there's a lot of vegan cream cheese companies out there, but this is just one more and I thought I'd show you. And last but not least, I want to show you a couple books that were sent to me recently. The first one is called Salad Samurai, and this is the newest book by Terry Hope Romero. She has like a million vegan cookbooks out there. She's written a lot with Issa Chandra Moskowitz, and she's just a super talented recipe developer. Uh, so I was really excited to check out this book. I was hoping it would inspire me to get a little healthier this summer. I've been going to farmer's markets a lot and getting a lot of produce. So this book is everything you would expect from Terry. It's beautifully designed, has epic photos, and just totally inspires you to get a little more creative and crafty with your salads. Everyone laughs at vegans for eating their salads, but I know far too many vegans that never eat salads, and I think this could change that. Salads are never a bad thing, and they can be super delicious if you do it right. And then last but not least, this one's really fun. It's a fiction animal rights book called The Chain. It's written by Robin Lamont, and it's part of her kinship series. I actually did read this book all the way through and totally loved it. It's a really sweet story about an undercover investigator that forms a connection with a teenager who wants to be an activist, and uh, there's a lot of you know drama going on with the local slaughterhouse and it's just a it's a really cute story especially if this is something that's really important to you in life it's cool to see that there's books out there that can be fun to read on the topic guys that's it that is what i wanted to share with you today i know it's a random selection of products but that kind of gives you a sense of what comes across my desk and they're all things that i think might be helpful for you so definitely let me know in the comments below if this is a type of video that you'd be interested in seeing more of i'd be so happy to make them for you uh, but if you're not into it let me know that as well because then i'll just focus on recipes and other types of videos Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, you can find more bite-sized vegan videos at vegan.com. I'll see you guys later. Bye.